So I've just wrapped up the demo for Pepper Grinder. This they released during the Nintendo Direct. And I just wanted to jump on here quickly, share my thoughts. There's no script for this video, which is something I rarely do on the channel. In fact, I don't think I've ever done it. So let me know what you do think of the content of the style in the comments down below. And do subscribe as well if you enjoy the video. It helps us out a huge amount. We're pushing for 60,000 right now. But yeah, I think with Pepper Grinder, if you enjoy a good platformer, this is one I highly recommend you check out the demo because it really is just something a little bit, I guess, different. I can't name another platformer quite like it. And that's because of the movement and the, and the way, I guess, this drill system works. So basically the idea here is we are jumping into different terrain types and we can drill through it and use that to kind of project ourselves through the environment. But it feels really fast, really smooth, and it's just honestly been great fun. You can see so much potential in the game for things like, you know, speed runs, for collecting all of the diamonds, the, the loot that is packed into this game. There's also um, a lot of like enemies that really require a unique strategy around how you're gonna approach them. So someone will need to be attacked from below. Others you may be able to go, you know, face on with them. But yeah, it's, it's really interesting stuff. I, I think what excites me the most about it is just the potential for speed runners. This, there's clearly so many different shortcuts you can take and there's some really creative puzzles and to give you an idea this is only the first three levels of the game and it's already honestly packing a little bit of a challenge i was surprised at that but there's environmental puzzles to figure out there's all sorts of different i guess lifts and strategies you're going to be utilizing and i've just loved sipping around the environments there's not much in the way of story it seems from what i can tell at the opening you've you've been in some sort of i guess shipwreck and you're washed up on shore there's these i guess strange creatures that are stealing what appears to be your loot and then you awake you realize it's gone and obviously now the chase is on you, they basically attack you very briefly i can't imagine the story is going to be a big factor in this world but it's definitely presenting this really unique world as well you can see giants walking in the background and um, really colorful really vivid so i'm kind of hoping they do dig into it a little bit more with progression what surprised me as well is it seems to be packing in some I guess almost like concepts like uh, the health bar is expandable, so almost like upgrades for the character. It seems like they are temporary, but there's actually a store after the second level, and here you can pick up different health bits as well as stickers, so I presume that's just one of the, the collectibles that's packed into this world. Um, I'm also noticing after the second level, there's one level that's actually locked away. I'm not sure what I have to do to get that, but packed into each level, you do have these different, you have the gems, which are kind of the base collectible, I guess. That's going to be the currency you're spending at the store. But then there's also gold coins with skulls on. These are clearly just hidden objectives to find. I found three on the first level. And they're putting them in some really creative places because when you use this drill, you can't just drill into any sort of surface that you see. You can't drill through, you know, any wall. It's got to be a specific terrain type. But there are kind of brief little hints that maybe something is hidden in the world. Like you see diamonds in the wall. These allow you to dig in just very slightly. And I found some really hidden places just honestly based on pure luck. I was concerned with the game as well in regards to this game pretty much lives and dies by its control scheme. How does it, you know, feel as you're kind of digging through this terrain? It's really simple. Hold down the set R trigger and pretty much point the direction you need to go. And then you can actually jump and boost between these different locations. It's actually very good as well because the second and third level, there's tons of obstacles that are just scattered around that pretty much spell, you know, instant death. Thankfully, the game has a ton of checkpoints, which is what you want to see. But I was able to sip and fly through pretty much all of these with ease, which is always a good thing to see. You know, they've obviously, I guess, invested a lot of time in making sure that it feels very right. Also, the performance has been fantastic. There's some... You know, it's, I know it's a 2D pixel game, don't get me wrong, but you need that kind of instant responsiveness. And that's exactly what they've managed to deliver here. It's, um, I didn't notice one sort of frame rate drop at any point. I didn't do a check to see if it's running at 30 or 60, honestly. But so far, felt really good to me. Um, the demo as well, I mean, again, completely free, so definitely worth taking a look at. It's going to run you about 30 minutes, say, but you do get the option then to jump to the modes on the main menu and what that basically is is you have the story mode or the you know the core i guess adventure and then you also have underneath that a time attack mode and that's again what i'm really excited to see i think the first level kind of gives you a good basis of the mechanics the movements 
And then straight away, it's kind of throwing you in the deep end on the second and third level. There's a lot of speed running channels that I watch personally. Um, Rio Car, for example, does a lot of like Super Mario Maker content. And I think this is going to be like right down there, Ali. I think the shortcuts you can create, the different jumps. I'm noticing when I boost jump, I can actually clear entire sections of the game. I also want to see different time attacks in regards to, you know, racking up additional top scores and getting all of the diamonds and finding all of the secrets. I think there's a lot in this game, it seems, that's going to be packed to kind of keep you coming back, I guess. Um, outside of that, demos three levels. Definitely ramping up quickly. It does cut off at that point, unfortunately. I believe you may, may be able to unlock that hidden level. I'm not sure how you do it yet. I imagine it's probably attached to those five school of gold coins that you can find. But um, I'm going to be going back in to try and do that now. But it's kind of got this Mario-esque overworld that you'll be exploring. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to jumping in, honestly. It looks good. runs good. The control scheme is really, really unique, which I do appreciate. It's something a little bit different. This and Penny's Big uh, Breakaway are two of the games that I was really psyched for from the last Direct. So it's good to see this, this demo drop. It was actually featured at Steam Next Fest recently. Um, really enjoying the music as well. It's kind of, you know, as poppy as you would expect, but it's definitely kind of building a good atmosphere for the game. And the pixel work is stunning as well. Some of the animations as you you know, flying all over the place. Looks really impressive. So yeah, I guess have you been playing Pepper Grinder? This is one from, I believe it's Defolver, um, who rarely ever miss. I'm Actually, I'm like 99% confident it's Defolver. Um, they rarely miss, and it seems they're not going to be missing again if the rest of the package is as good as this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So have you tried it? What do you think of the control scheme? Is this a game you see yourself playing? I think it feels like a perfect fit for the Nintendo Switch. I did play handheld for a little bit as well. Ran just as good, looked just as good. Very easy to kind of figure out, you know, what's happening on screen. It looks really nice on a OLED as well, thanks to those vivid colors. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you played it. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? Will you be picking it up day one? I think it's definitely one I'll be jumping on. Hopefully we'll have some coverage here on the channel for the full release. But yeah, I just basically wanted to get on the mic and say, download the Pepper Grinder demo. This game appears to be awesome. I think genre fans are really going to like it. It's something a little bit different. And yeah, even if you don't like the genre, maybe give it a go. Because again, it is kind of unique in its design. And, you know, Devolver do a very good job of finding the most unique experiences and bringing them to us. So I'd say they rarely miss. And yeah, let's give them some, some support with downloading these demos and checking out their new games. That's it, basically. Thanks for watching. Again, I'll see you all on the next video. And we've got plenty more coming up right now. I'm working on a Penny's Big Breakaway review. I've got a few other demos. I'm checking out Unicorn Overlord. I'm going to be doing a stream at some point later in the week. So yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks all.